It appears a blood stain is left on the stoop of this multi-unit residence in Brantford. It's the scene where a man was killed in broad daylight. It's crazy, really. The whole thing's just overwhelming. I've never had, like, something this happened this close to home before, that's for sure. Tyler is a tenant at the residence and wasn't home during the shooting. He came to grab the rest of his belongings, left puzzled at what happened. I mean, it's terrifying. My family was really scared because they couldn't get a hold of me. Police say it was yesterday afternoon at around 1 o'clock when they received a report of a man who had been shot. Once they arrived at the residence at the intersection of Alfred and Wellington Streets, he was dead. Police believe the shooting isn't random, but did not give additional details today regarding who was killed and the motive behind it. Other residents in the area were outside again watching police canvass the area. Many say they did not hear anything at the time of the murder. Everybody wants answers, that's for sure, right? And then everybody's curious, you know, according to myself, I'm curious because like, it's not every day you see this. This is the second homicide in Brantford in the last five days. This past Wednesday, another man was killed just a few minutes away from here. Roughly three and a half kilometers away, investigators continue to look into another targeted shooting. Police say 20-year-old Isaiah Castillo was killed inside a home on Diana Avenue Wednesday. No arrests have been made as of yet. Like we just had one on Wednesday and then now one on Friday. So it's just a little, it's unusual to have two that close together, that's for sure. Police are asking anyone with information or video regarding both cases to contact them.